Strawberry Basel Pastries, where I help you create decadent chocolate covered strawberries as well as other treats here on my channel. In today's tutorial, we are creating an Olivia Rodrigo inspired breakable heart from a new album, Sour. I really hope you guys enjoy this one. Okay guys, let's get started. So to make our breakable heart today, we're going to use our Ghirardelli Melting Wafers along with my OXO silicone cup. Now next up, we're also going to use our Color Mail in the color Lavender. This one is an oil-based coloring, perfect for coloring chocolate. And lastly, a breakable heart. Now this one you can use, but you can also use another one, which I'll leave a picture here in the video. And lastly, we're just going to place this into the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. So now here we have our melted wafers, and this is the consistency I will be working with today. It is really liquidy and super great to work with. Next up, we're going to need our Color Mill Lavender. Now this is a new bottle, so a little tip for you guys. I'm just going to grab a toothpick and just like pierce a small hole where that little paper is. This is going to be a lot more cleaner than just peeling it off yourself and getting color on your hands, and we don't want that. So that little tip is really helpful. And from here, I'm just going to color my chocolate. Remember, you can add as little or as much as you will like of your coloring. Today, I'll show you guys in a little bit, I ended up getting like a darker purplish. Um, just because my Ghirardelli chocolate is a little bit of an ivory color, it's not bright white like the one we used in yesterday's video. But you can also choose to go for the Sweet Tooth Fairy if you guys want a bright white. But since we're using Ghirardelli today, it is like offsetting the color a little bit, so I'm not getting that exact color from the bottle, but that's completely okay. I just went ahead and added 28 drops in total. So once we have achieved our desired color, we're then going to just spread it all around the heart, make sure the edges are completely covered. So I'm just going to speed this up for you guys, but if you guys would like to know how I did this, I have a step-by-step -step tutorial, it'll be linked down below for you guys, or it's also going to be on the right-hand side of this small clip you're seeing. So I'm just going to fast forward through this and let's go on to the next step. So now moving on to the colors that we're going to be using today, we're going to use yellow, red, and black. So I just went ahead and did those off camera really fast and now I'm just going to place them into a mug. So I placed my pastry bag over a mug. And this is just going to help ensure that you scrape like every last bit of that chocolate. We do not want it to go to waste. Now here I have a small little silicone mat, which I'm going to use for all of my decoration. So now we're going to make our own little smiley faces using the color yellow. So once we have cut a small tip on our pastry bag, we're then just going to press firmly until you create a circle. Once we have that set, we're going to grab our silicone mat and just like hit it on the table a little bit to just make sure that small little top goes down and it's not like raising up or anything. And by doing this, it's going to be a little bit more easier to pipe our faces a little bit later, like our smiley faces. Okay, so next up, we're going to move on to our flower mold here and we're gonna use the same yellow color and we're just gonna pipe it directly inside. Now, once we pipe that inside, we're going to take our right hand or if you're left-handed, your left hand and you're going to tap against your other hand just to make sure everything is completely leveled down and you don't have like any air pockets. So this next one that we're going to pipe in, it's just gonna be a little bit different, but it's not gonna be difficult. So we're gonna use our same color and we're gonna pipe directly inside, focusing on the middle part of the flower. Then we're gonna take a toothpick and you see those little ridges on the end that are not covered. That's what the toothpick is going to help us for. We're just gonna bring that chocolate over to the sides and just make sure everything is covered because as soon as we take it out, you are going to notice if you do not like take the extra step to do that. So make sure you do that before you know you pop it into the fridge or the freezer. So next up we have our red butterflies. Now it's going to be the same thing as a flower. Let's go ahead and pipe it inside, but this time we're gonna add an extra line of chocolate in the center. So as you guys can see here on camera, that is exactly what I showed you guys here. And this is just going to help it from not breaking so easily on you. But if it does end up breaking on you, you know, next time just add a little bit extra. But if it does break on you, you can definitely put it back into your container where you melted this and, you know, melt it again to just have a little bit extra chocolate.
So in this step, everything has already been refrigerated and it is set. Now it's going to be easy. We're going to pull away from the edges and individually you're going to release each one at a time. And we're going to do the same to the rest of these. So now we're moving on to our smelly faces here. And we're going to take that same black chocolate and we're going to start piping in our eyes and our mouth. And we're also going to repeat that same process on our small hearts. Now to these fondant squares, I just rolled out some fondant and make sure I had a knife and a ruler available. Now we're just going to cut them into individually one inch pieces and if they are a little bit too big or too small for your like letters, you can always make them bigger or smaller. Now for our last decoration, we're going to need these Wilton Sweet Gems as well as these edible accents. These are stars and they are 100% edible guys. So to these little like accents, I'm just going to peel off one row. Don't peel off all of them because then they're all going to fall out and you're going to need a separate container to put them inside. Now we're going to move on to decorating your heart. But before we do that, make sure you guys have some melted chocolate available. And if it does tend to get a little bit hard on you, you can always place it in the microwave for about five seconds. No more than that. So we're going to move on with attaching our fondant squares first with a little bit of chocolate in the back. And so the rest of this video is going to be Olivia Rodrigo, like a remix of her songs. And you guys are just going to see how I decorate this really awesome heart. I hope you guys enjoy.
guess you moved on really easily You found a new girl and it only took a couple weeks Remember when you said that you wanted to give me the world Good for you, I guess that you've been working on yourself I guess the therapist I found for you should really help To be a better man for your brand new girl So now we're on to packaging and here I found this box from Amazon. Remember all the links to everything will be linked down below for you guys in the description box. So here I've also added some white crinkle paper and also a little bit of this confetti mix on top of that crinkle paper. Now for the bottom of our breakable heart, I'm just going to fill it with different kinds of candies but of course, you can fill it with anything else you will like inside. And of course, we can't forget about our decorated mallet. Here I just added some purple ribbon and hot glued it with the hot glue gun. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to leave me a comment down below or leave me some heart emojis to let me know you guys watched this video all the way through. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye. Have a lovely day.